Taliban sources have revealed to Al Jazeera what a future government in Afghanistan might look like. It is going to be headed by an Emirul Mu'minin or the leader of the faithful. Under him is going to be a leadership council or a Rahbari Shura. This is a Shura which has convened in Afghanistan for the first time in 20 years. Leaders from all over the world as well as neighboring countries have traveled there. Uh, we know Mullah Baradar is in Kabul, Mullah Yaqub has traveled from Kandahar and they are holding their consultative meetings on the future shape of the government. The key ministries include the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Interior Security, a special ministry for Kabul, a Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Public Affairs, as well as judicial uh, system. Uh, Taliban say that it is going to be paramount that this system is run under the Sharia law which they aspire to. Uh, sources have also told us that an interim government is also in the offing and in that ministries are going to be given to other parties who have been fighting Taliban or at least have, have been on the other side uh, with the previous government. Uh, now the Taliban want a complete change of face in these ministries and they have been in contact with the United States uh, where the United States government wants Hamid Karzai, Gulbuddin Hikmat Yar, Abdullah Abdullah, uh, Muhammad Muhaqqiq, uh, Ata Noor and others to be part of this uh, transitional government or an interim government. Uh, Taliban sources have not revealed whether this government which is going to come into place in a matter of weeks we've been told uh, is either uh, going to work under the same constitution that the Afghanistan is run under now or it is going to be reverted to the constitution constitution that the Taliban made in 1996. Sources in Doha have told Al Jazeera that Taliban remain committed to not letting their soil be used by any other groups such as Al Qaeda. Uh, these statements have been made before and they continue to reiterate these statements but we've heard from the United States, the United Nations, uh, NATO and other leaders saying that Taliban uh, can make all these statements but the proof is going to be in the pudding on what their actions are going to look like on the ground not in just in terms of what the formation of the government is going to look like but what are going to be the basic principles and tenets of this government as Taliban have said that they are going to continue to abide by in international laws uh, as well as rights for minorities and women uh, and other groups under the ambit of Sharia. This is a Sharia which Taliban believes in and it is still ambiguous on what is it going to look like on the ground when it is implemented.